Hey everyone, Maya here from My Storybook and welcome back to today's new summertime interactive read aloud. Today's story is going to be all about adventure, traveling the world, and it's going to be about friendship and helping others in need, no matter how small you are. So my friends, I know that this summer probably looks a little bit different than usual summers for you. I know that over summertime, usually I get to travel or go to the beach or the pool a lot. And I know that in some places, it's not very safe yet to go traveling and it's not safe to be out at the beach and the pool because right now we're trying to stay safe and healthy, right? So we don't get sick. But that doesn't mean that you can't have adventures. That's what books are for. With books, we can go on all sorts of reading adventures together. So today's story, we are going to be exploring all these different far away lands, seeing all these different animals, all these different places. We'll be getting to meet some two very special friends and we'll get to learn that no matter what your size is, no matter how small you are or how big, you can always help out a friend in a big way. All right, well, thumbs up if you are on summer break right now, meaning you aren't at school, you're not having to do any schoolwork, and it's summer vacation time. What are some things that you've done during your summer so far? Wow, those sound super fun. And what are some books you've read over the summer so far? Well, those sound like excellent reading adventures. You can also join my storybook for other reading adventures, too. Well, today in the background, you'll see some little summer decorations. I made some palm trees and some sunshines out of paper, just cutting them. And then you'll even see oh, these two whales in the back. This is a little sneak peek to the craft that I'll share with you at the end of our story. Okay, well, fingers on your nose if you're ready to begin this summertime reading adventure. Excellent. Let's get started. So the title of today's interactive read aloud is The Snail and the Whale, written by Julia Donaldson and illustrated by Axel Scheffler. So that means that Julia Donaldson is the author and the author does what? The author writes all the words and Axel Scheffler is the illustrator who draws all the pictures. Author and illustrator work together to make the words and the pictures of this story. Now, if you heard the title, it said the names of two animals. What two animals is this book going to be about? Can you even see them on the cover? That's right, a snail and a whale. And if I think about a snail and a whale, my friends, how big is a snail? Show me with your fingers if you can. Not too big. And how big is a whale? My friends, show me with your arms if you can. Oh, my arms can't even go as wide as a whale, right? Because whales are so big. Seems to me like snails and whales are opposite sizes, right? Opposites mean they're completely different. So snails are super small and whales are so very big. And if I'm looking at the cover here, my friends, I see the whale. Can you point to the whale? But do you see the snail? Can you point to the snail? Nice eyes. The snail is right over here on the tail of the whale. Super little tiny compared to the whale, right? What other animals do you see on this cover here? I see this bird, very colorful. It's called a parrot. Some fishies in the sea. Oh, another bird over here. This is called a toucan. And where do you notice they're at? What's the background of this cover? That's right, I see the ocean, then I see this island it looks like. It's got a palm tree, the sandy beaches over here. Some It's very green, right? Hmm. I'm wondering, what is this snail doing in the middle of the ocean with a whale? What do you think this snail and whale are up to, my friends? Well, let's read and find out. So here's our title page. It has the title of our book, The Snail and the Whale, our author and illustrator. And down here it has our publisher who helped make this book and put it all together, Puffin Books. And here I see our snail and whale friend again. And this, do you know what this tall tower in the background is called? A lighthouse. A lighthouse is this tall tower with a light at the top. And it's to show ships and people in the ocean that there's land nearby so they don't crash. 
Now, if I listen carefully to the title of this book, Snail and Whale, I hear that those sounds kind of sound the same, right? They rhyme. The ending of those words rhyme and sound the same. Snail, whale. Can you say that with me? Snail, whale. They both have that ail sound at the end, right? As we read this story, my friends, you'll hear that there are lots of rhyming words and it kind of makes it fun to read. You might even be able to read along with some of it if you can figure out what the rhyming words are. Let's begin. This is the tale, this is the story of a tiny snail. My friends, can you make a tiny snail with your fingers? This is the tale of a tiny snail and a great big gray blue humpback whale. This is a rock as black as soot, so very black, kind of like coal, if you've seen coal in a fireplace. A very black rock as black as soot. And this is a snail with an itchy foot. Oh, hmm, I see a little snail buddy. The sea snail slithered all over the rock. Slither means move all smooth and slimy and twisting your body. My friends, can you slither with your arm? Kind of like a snake, but snails can slither too. The sea snail slithered all over the rock and gazed at the sea and the ships and the dock. So the dock is where all the boats stay. And as she gazed, she sniffed and sighed. The sea is deep and the world is wide. How I'd long to sail, said the tiny snail. So what does this snail want? She longs for, she wants to sail, to sail around in a boat or just to sail and do what? Why does she want to sail? I think she wants to see the world, right? Because she was saying how the world is so wide and the sea is so deep. There must be so much to see. My friends, are you curious about seeing what is out in the big, big world? What are some things you're curious to see? Yeah, there are so many amazing sights out in the world. There's even amazing things right in your own backyard, too. All right, so I'm thinking that over here is where the snail lives, what this snail sees as she gazes out into the ocean. And first, my friends, do you see where the snail is? Can you find snail? Point to her when you can. She's a little hard to see, right? But, oh, there she is on her rock as black as soot. Staring out into the dock. And what does she see when she looks at my friends? What are some things you notice too? Yes, right. I see that lighthouse that was on the title page. These big boats. Some oh, little cats and seagulls in the sky over here. Hmm. Oh, and what do you notice here? There's lots of snails, huh? She's not alone on her rock. These are the other snails in the flock, in the group, who all stuck tight to the smooth black rock and said to the snail with the itchy foot, be quiet, don't wiggle, sit still, stay put. So this snail wants to go out and sail the world, but what do the other snails think? Don't be going out and wandering around, right? Stay where you are. We belong on this rock. That's where snails belong. And so you know, my friends, how they keep saying the snail has an itchy foot? I'm thinking it's not really itchy. I think itchy foot means that she really wants to go out and explore. Her feet are itching to go out and explore the world. My friends, do you have itchy feet that want to go out and explore outside? <laughs> yeah. So if you ever want to go outside, maybe you'll say, I have an itchy foot. But do you think the tiny sea snail's going to listen to them? But the tiny sea snail sniffed and sighed, then cried, I've got it, I'll hit to ride. So she's going to go find a ride around the ocean. This is the trail of the tiny snail, a silvery trail that looped and curled and said, ride wanted around the world. So little snail just wrote a message. How did she write a message? With her silvery slime, right? You know how snails make that little slime trail. And her message says, ride wanted around the world. And if I think about the cover of the book and our title, who do you think is going to come give snail a ride around the world? 
Good prediction, my friends. We had some clues, right, with the pictures from before. And who is this? Looks like the big whale coming in the middle of the night. And do you see Snail over here? Ooh, there's Snail right on top of the rock. Let's see what whale says. This is the whale who came one night when the tide was high and the stars were bright. A humpback whale, immensely long, so long, my friends, who sang to the snail a wonderful song. A whale song, my friends. What do you think a whale song sounds like? Can you sing like a whale? That's a pretty awesome whale song. So here came the whale who sang to the snail a wonderful song of shimmering ice and coral caves and shooting stars in enormous Big, gigantic waves. So that sounds like some of the things that whales had seen swimming around the world. And, oh, this is the tail of the humpback whale. And would you notice who's on the tail? He held it out of the starlit sea and said to the snail, come sail with me. So humpback whale is offering snail a ride. And does snail join? Snail just hops right on, right? Where do you think they are going to go? There are so many great places to see, huh? And where do they go first, my friends? What do you notice about this place? Kind of looks like Antarctica or something, right? All that ice and what animals are those? Penguins. And my friends, what's the climate here? Climate is kind of like weather, except climate lasts for a long time. So climate is what temperature it normally is. Weather changes back and forth. Like sometimes it's rainy, sometimes it's sunny, but climate is kind of how it is every single day. What do you notice about the climate here? Is it hot or cold? What do you notice about the land? It's very cold, right? And there's ice everywhere, just like we pointed out before. Well, this is the sea so wild and free that carried the whale and the snail on its tail. To towering icebergs, so tall icebergs, my friends. Can you stretch up like a towering iceberg? To towering icebergs in far off lands. So they're going all over, my friends. And now the climate changes, and my friends, now where are they? Is it hot, cold? What do you notice about the land? This kind of reminds me of the cover, right? But now it's sunny and warm, and it looks like there's lots of green trees. What animals are over here? Some dolphins. So they see towering icebergs and far-off lands with fiery mountains. Oh, do you know what this is called when the fire shoots out of the mountain? A volcano with lava, right? With fiery mountains and golden sands. My friends, have you been to the beach or a place like this before with a volcano or golden beaches? Have you been to an island? Sometimes they have volcanoes or they have these sandy beaches. And, oh my goodness, my friends, now where are they going? They look like they're diving deep, right? These are the waves that arched and crashed. So arch means bending over like this. You kind of see how it's arching and bending with your arm. You can make like a wave. My friends, can you make an arching wave? These are the waves that arched and crashed, that foamed and frolicked and sprayed and splashed. The tiny snail on the tail of the whale. So, oh my goodness, look at those big waves, my friends. If you've ever been to the beach, have you ever been in those big waves? It's kind of fun. And then here they are. And I'm noticing it's really dark under the ocean, huh? And these are the caves beneath the waves where colorful fish with feathery fins and sharks with hideous tooth friends. So hideous means ugly. Oh. Swam past the whale with the snail on its tail. And my friends, what animals, what sea animals, creatures are you noticing under the ocean here? Yes, right. Wow. All sorts of cool, interesting animals down here, right? There's an, oh, do you know what this animal is called? 
an octopus, and look at these sharks with those toothy grins. Ugh. And on this page, my friends, I'm noticing all different sorts of weather. What different sorts of weather do you see? So weather's when it changes every single day. How the sky changes and the temperature, how cold or hot it is. This looks sunny. I'm seeing some rain here, maybe even hail because there's little pieces of ice. And <gasps> what's going on here? Thunder and lightning. This is the sky so vast and high, sometimes sunny and blue and warm, sometimes filled with a thunderstorm, with zigzag lightning flashing and frightening, the tiny snail on the tail of the whale. Oh, you're getting that rhyming down. So, so many different weather patterns that this snail is seeing. Ooh. Ooh, and now where are they? What do you notice in the landscape, the background? mountains and the woods and what animals are these a bear and an eagle hmm. and she gazed she stared at the sky and the sea and the land the waves and the caves and the golden sand so all those beautiful things that she saw she gazed and gazed amazed at it all and she said to the whale i feel so small Right? Because she's looking at these amazing big things and she's such a tiny little snail. Can you even see her on the tail of the whale? Yeah, if you look closely, right? Oh, and then here's some new people here. What do you notice going on on this page, my friends? Looks like they found land with some people living on it, right? Some humans. But, uh-oh. Something's going to happen. That word but tells me something's happening. But then came the day the whale lost his way. These are the speedboats running a race, zigging and zooming all over the place, upsetting the whale with their ear-splitting roar. Because motorboats make such loud sounds, making him swim too close to the shore. And what happens when the whale swims too close to the shore? I know if the whale swims too close, it looks like the whale gets stuck on the sand. There's not enough water to swim. This is the tide slipping away. And it looks like the whale can't get out right. Oh, no. And this is the whale lying beached in the bay, my friends. And what do you know about whales? Can whales live on the sand on the land? No, where do whales need to be to breathe? Whales need to be in the water to live and breathe and survive, but how is the whale going to get back to the ocean? Quick, off the sand, back to the sea, cried the snail. I can't move on the land. I'm too big, moaned the whale. The snail felt helpless and terribly small, because can the snail help push the whale? Oh dear. I've got it, she cried and started to crawl. It sounds like she has a plan. What do you think her plan is? Where is she going? I don't know, but if I look over here, my friends, I see a building and it has a little sign that says school. I wonder, do you think she might go to the school? What might she do at the school to help the whale? Hmm. Let's see. Well, I must not fail, said the tiny snail. Oh, and what do you notice about where snail is now? This looks very different from the ocean and the far off lands. What does it look like? It looks like school, right? I see a playground, teacher, classroom. This is the bell on the school in the bay, ringing the children in from their play. This is the teacher holding her chalk, telling the class, sit straight, don't talk. This is the board as black as soot. <gasps> as black as soot. That reminds me of what else was as black as soot. Snails rock, right? And if I look over here, <gasps> there's some writing on the chalkboard. And this writing kind of reminds me of, what does it remind you of from the beginning? Snail riding on her black rock. Do you think she's going to write on this board again? What do you think she might write? Something to help her whale friend? Oh, 
Well, this is the board as black as soot. And this is the snail with the itchy foot. A snail! A snail! The teacher turns pale. Oh, she's a little scared of snails. Look, say the children, it's leaving a trail. She's writing a message with her silvery trail again. This is the trail of the tiny snail. A silvery trail saying, save the whale! She's writing a message to save her whale friend. Do you think the kids will help? Hope so. And what is going on here, my friends? Who comes to help the whale? I see the children right and some fire trucks. And over here, what are they doing? That's right, they're helping the whale. Looks like they're spraying water so it can breathe. And what are the kids and people doing down here? Looks like they're digging, huh? These are the children running from school, fetching the firemen, digging a pool, squirting and spraying to keep the whale cool. And oh, up here I see a helicopter, right? Maybe watching over to make sure everything's okay. Look, my friends, the tide is coming back. The tide is when the water comes up higher onto the beach. And now that the friends digged a big hole, Look at all the water can come and <gasps> look at the whale made it back to the ocean. This is the tide coming into the bay. And these are the villagers shouting hooray. My friends, can you shout hooray with the villagers? Yes, how exciting, right? They helped save the whale. How are they feeling? And how is whale and snail feeling, you think? Relieved, happy, glad to be safe, grateful to their friends for helping. So these are the villagers shouting, hooray, as the snail and the whale travel safely away. Oh, and where are they now? This looks familiar. Looks like they made it back to the snail's home, right? Back to the dock and the flock on the rock who said, wow, how time's flown, and haven't you grown? Hmm, so it's been a while. And the whale and the snail told their wonderful tale, their wonderful story of shimmering ice and coral caves and shooting stars and enormous waves. And of the snail, so small and frail, so, so small and fragile, not very strong because it's a snail. So they told this tale of the snail, so small and frail, with her loop being curling in silvery trail saved the life of a humpback whale. <gasps> that little tiny snail saved the life of a humpback whale. That is pretty spectacular, huh, my friends? Then the humpback whale held out his tail. And <gasps> what do you notice, my friends, here? It's not just one snail coming on, but and on crawled snail after snail after snail. So it seems like these snails changed their mind, huh? From the beginning of the story, what were they saying at the beginning of the story about going out and exploring the world? They were saying, stay put, don't go anywhere, you belong on this rock, right? But now how are they different? Now what do they think? Now it looks like they want to go on an adventure too, right? And see the world. So Humpback Whale is letting them hop on his tail. And well, look at all those snail friends. My friends, how many snail friends do you count on this whale tail? That's right. Let's count together to check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine snail friends are on the whale tail. So on crawled snail after snail after snail, and they sang to the sea as they all set sail on the tail of the gray blue humpback whale. The end, my friends, and they are off on another adventure. Where do you think they'll go this time? Maybe the same places, maybe some different places. My friends, if you could hop on the back of a humpback whale and go wherever you wanted in the world, where would you want to go visit? Would you want to go see some of the places they already saw in this book or maybe somewhere else? What an amazing place to choose. Well, I hope one day you do get to see that place. The end. 
Okay, my friends. Well, that was the tale of the snail and the whale. Traveling the world, setting sail, finding new lands and far off places, right? And using bravery and courage and intelligence and smart thinking, right? To help each other out when they were in trouble. What was something you liked about this story? Your favorite part? Something you enjoyed? Those are all great parts. This story makes me want to go out and explore the world too, but it also reminds me, makes me think that, my friends, even if you're really small, no matter how big or what size you are, you can help out friends in a big way. Your size doesn't matter in what you are able to do. If you have courage, determination, and some good ideas, then you can do anything you put your mind to. Don't forget that. You are never too small to help people out in a big way way. Well, let's move on to this week's craft inspired by our store. It's got to do with whales and snails. So for this week's craft, we have a snail and whale craft. And if you see here, my friends, it's this whale. Looks like the humpback whale from the story. And all these little snails crawling on the whale to go on an adventure. This whale says that you can put your own name, but I put my name here. Maya can do big things, just like the snail could do big things. And if you see here on these snails, they have little examples of some big things that I can do, some things I'm proud of doing, some things that even though I'm small, I can still do, right? So right here it says, I made a book, or I know how to, I put paint. Uh, I want to be an author, someone who writes books. I can play piano. I will learn to swim or learn to fly a plane, anything big, because you can do big Things. And now I glued on my snails, my friends, so that they were on my whale. Or I could leave my whale separate or else have some extra snails. And I can pretend and act out the snails climbing on the whale and going on an adventure, have my whale swim around, have the snails climb on and off or move them around to different spots on my whale. All these different little snails to stick on your whale to encourage you and remind you to do big things. There's also another whale. That's, this one's in black and white, so you can color in. There's also a version to color in on the other one. And this one also comes in a colored version, too, that you can just print out. But this one has a different topic we're focusing on. This one says, and again, you can put your own name, but this one says, Maya's amazing sights. So some amazing things that I have already seen, just how Snail goes out and sees some amazing things in the world. And you can also write, my friends, on the snails, you write amazing sights you've seen. And you can also write things that you want to see if you haven't seen some things, my friends. But these are all different labels of different sights I've seen. So the cutest sight I've seen is my puppy. Or the happiest sight I've seen is my mama when I see her. Or the prettiest sight I've seen is the sunset. So all these different, very amazing things that you might have seen or want to see. And again, I glued on some of these snails, but there's also separate snails that you can use to act out going on the whale and going on adventures around the world. All right, well, both of these crafts, my friends, can be found on mystorybook.com. If you click on that link below to get the templates to print out and make these own whale snails of your own. If you do make these crafts, I would love to see them, my friends. I love seeing your own crafting adventures, hear about the big things that you can do and what amazing sights you've already seen or want to see. You can reach out to me and share on Instagram, Facebook, on the blog, YouTube, social media. All the social media links are down there below. I love hearing from you. And always chatting back about your own reading adventures. Of course, to keep up with our new reading adventures we are going to have, please subscribe to my storybook YouTube channel so that we can read along together. I hope you enjoyed this summer read, my friends. I have some very fun stories coming out soon, so please be sure to check back in. But otherwise, I hope you are having some summer fun, being able to stay safe and healthy, but still get some fun time in with family and friends. Until next time, though, my friends, enjoy your summer time, enjoy some reading adventures of your own, and happy reading.